This brief tutorial will show the tools that are available for generating wave loadings within SAP 2000. For this example, we will assume that we wish to generate wave loadings on a structure that is submerged in 60 feet of water. The velocities and accelerations calculated in the fluid will be resolved into drag and inertial forces that will ultimately be applied as varying distributed loads on the members. The definition of the wave loads is handled through the Define Load Patterns option. We will define a new load pattern named Wave with a type of wave. And with the automated lateral load based on the API specifications. Next, we select the wave case and go to the Modify Lateral Load Pattern. Here, we specify the wave load parameters, such as the wave characteristics, current profile, marine growth, which affects the width of the members, drag and inertia coefficients, which when used with velocities and accelerations generate forces on the members, and wind load which can apply wind loads to the non-submerged portion of the structure. Click on the Modify Show button for the characteristics, and we see that under the wave type we have two options, wave theory or user defined. If user defined is selected, the user creates a table of wave points. For this example, we select Wave Theory and will generate a wave using the Airy Wave Theory. We will leave the Wave Kinematics Factor, which accounts for direction spreading, set to 1, but will set the stormwater depth to 60 feet. The wave height will be set to 6 feet and the period left at 12 seconds. Click OK and we can finish the data input by reviewing the position and direction of the wave, including the approach angle. For this model, we will consider only one wave crest. In this case, under the vertical elevations, the datum should be a positive 60 feet, and the mudline will be minus 60 feet below the datum. We will set the high tide to be zero from datum. We can view the wave by clicking on the Show Wave Plot button. Note that the program has calculated the wavelength from the input data. On the plot, we have a number of items that may be displayed. The Click for Value options allows us to click anywhere on the plot to obtain the coordinates, as well as the velocities, the accelerations, and the pressure. The Contours option displays the velocity, acceleration, and pressure contours. The Arrow selection displays the resultant velocities and accelerations, while the vertical and horizontal cuts will draw a diagram of the selected item at any location on the plot. If the show values at pointer option is checked, the cursor will continuously display the coordinates and the value of the selected item, which in this case is vertical velocity. A click on the Done, and then the OK buttons, completes the wave loading pattern for this example. Going to the Display Show Load Assigns command, 
and selecting the wave load pattern. shows that the wave loads have been applied. This concludes this tutorial.